What's up guys? Haven't done a video in a while. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, almost no wind at all on St. Clair, which is awesome. Just enough to chop it up a little bit, but uh, today I'm throwing the Nico rig. Um, so effective, it's stupid. Um, basically what you're gonna do, or how I have this rigged up, uh, 610, basically a drop shot rod, uh, medium, eight pound test on it, fluorocarbon of course. Uh, right now I'm using a Daiwa Nico straight worm. Uh, really any any kind of a straight worm will work for you. I uh, got tied on a one aught trocar drop shot hook. Uh, guys use Aberdeen hooks, uh, bait holders, they make special Nico hooks. And just a simple little nail weight. Got a 1 16th ounce VMC uh, nail weight on there. Uh, the way you want to rig this is take your little wacky rig O ring. Uh, most people would rack, wacky rig it, like hook it halfway through. I like to go a little more towards the head, probably a third of the way past the rest of the worm. And you always want to get just a little bit of meat when you're hooking that on because this o-ring is a little bit too big so basically just make sure to get a little little of the bait when you're hooking it in there 100% um, you want to have the point of the hook on the bait um, so effectively you're making it uh, totally weedless I'm out here fishing in crappy eel grass right now and it's pulling through just fine and the way you're gonna fish this you're you're just gonna bomb it out there it's gonna slowly fall to the bottom head first like this and then it's just gonna sit right on the bottom just like that and this little tail is gonna be dangling in their face and ticking them off and um, basically what you're gonna do you're gonna give your rod tip just the little little tiny twitches just to get that tail really wagging Every once in a while, I will pick up and you go like maybe six to 12 inches off of the bottom, just kind of rip it up two or three times. That way it jumps up and then sinks back down. Um, a lot of times that's when they'll hit it. and That bait gets up and away from them and then falls right in front of them and they, they whack it. Um, so I'm gonna shut up here, hopefully try and get a couple fish on film. I got three back in the box that I uh, didn't get on film because I didn't know I was going to be filming. So let's film. <laughs> That's a goodie. Nico rig, baby. I switched colors. I went over to the, uh, the Z-Man uh, finesse worm, whatever they call it. A little bit shorter bait. Um, yeah.
Yeah, I don't know about a giant, but he's, he's a good fish. trouble hooks right Junker. Catch jumbo perch, spy baits, ghost gill spy bait, 90.
turn that yawn upside down. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't come unbuttoned, please. Pretty please. This dude. I've already seen him. He's a, a piggy. A schlaunch hollow. make them look bigger when they're about 50 yards out. Still, it's not a bad fish. Woo! Don't you go anywhere weird. The life and times of Michael Pasco. Come here. I just don't want a bunch of trouble hooks in my fingers, please. And thank you. Still a nice fish. I would say solid three and a half. And he's pooping. Nice fishy. Let's buy a bait again. That midday bite, it's like, I don't know what time it is. It's probably 2.30ish, maybe 3. And uh, I had to switch it up. And it's working. He hit it. I felt the whap. I mean, the hooks in his mouth. I can't believe that shit. Cannot believe it. Come on. You have got to be kidding me. Look at this. That's awesome. I hope you grow up to be a 15, 16 incher. Best of luck to you. You are a man among boys. God, your minnows are too big. What am I going, shark fishing? I can't use those big minnows. in the same area all day long 18 19 foot of water it's just big open flats i'm not really finding any schools it's kind of just the one here one there um started off the morning with an eco rig um caught five six fish on it um three of which are still in here um switched over to a spy bait caught a couple bigger fish um that's about it. I'm I'm fried, man. Just, ugh. but uh, yeah. So I think I'll do this one. Will be a Nico rig video. Um, and then I'll do a spy bay video probably tomorrow. It's nice. I got two days off, and they're both gonna be beautiful. Um, as you see, bluebird sky. It's hotter than crap out here. I think it's like 92 degrees. Um, not much wind at all, especially this morning. It was dead flat calm. Now it's mostly, this is mostly boat wake. Um, it's not even really waves. It's just kind of, you're rolling every which way. But uh, yeah, I'll show you kind of what I got. Ugh. 
take a look in the live well here. So we got that guy. I want to release all these guys too. So oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You know, swam away. He's good. Um, I don't know. I got three more in here. They're all probably four. At least three and a half, four. Uh, I got two of them in here. They're solid, chunky, fat fish. Got about six perch in there. Um, this guy's. Oh my god. That guy's a toad. Um, he's just a freaking slob. He might be a five. Goddamn dinosaur. But, uh, alright. I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I'm sure I got a crap load of crawfish in the bottom of the live well there. I want to make sure you swim away. And that's how we're going to end the video. Go on. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.